Welcome back. Chester Missing had a chat with public protector Tuli Matontela. This is what went down. I am talking to the killer of corruption, the terrorizer of tenders, the public protector Tuli Matontela. Uh, you're a lawyer, right? Yes, I am. So please don't sue me if I do anything rude, okay? Sue Lois Ogola. Can we clear that up before we start? Nah, I'll sue you. If you can't sue me, you can't sue me. It is illegal. The only place it's legal to sue puppets is in Limpopo. <laughs> Isn't that true? What, do you deny it? Well... You're suing a million puppets in Limpopo, starting with Juju, Guanga, all those guys. Well, I don't look at them as puppets, Oh, Chester. so I do. Yes. I think they're very profane. I look up to them. So they kindred spirit? The kindred spirit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I saw Julius talk, I used to see Jacob Zuma's lips move. People are saying that you are biased against the ANC. I mean, are you like a one-woman FNB? No, <laughs> seriously. <What? laughs> well, I don't know what the FNB did, but... Uh, it was in the newspaper. We, are know, not, we, nobody, we don't do really adverts, knows. you know. We don't do adverts. We yeah. just do our job. We find out who who's supposed to have done yeah. something, and if they did something wrong, we tell them. But it's really in a loving way to correct them. In so a that, loving way? Oh. Yes. It is. <laughs> Una manga. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. In a loving way. I don't think Baby Taylor was fired in a loving way. Well, I think he... W well, we didn't fire him. We, we, we just indicated to the department's concern that that's not the way to deal with leasing of yeah. state buildings and you shouldn't pay people too much. Shouldn't pay people too much, yeah. Talk to South African Airways about that. Mama don't sell it. For example, this whole thing where you delayed the Midvale report, apparently, and apparently you led is that Zilla lady off with a dodgy advertising agency thing. I mean, what happened with that? Those are the most ridiculous allegations yeah. that have been leveled against me yeah. in the last three years. Yeah. If anything, those two reports faced far more heightened scrutiny yeah. than any other reports, precisely because we knew that there was going to be talks. Midval was never delayed. The, the, the report came to me long after the elections, and that report was yeah. scrutinized in exactly the same yeah. way as everything else we do. What do you think of Tulos Ntresi's report on Nkandla? I mean, have you seen it? I haven't seen it, and I can't comment on that, because that was an internal investigation. I'm doing my own investigation, yeah. which will answer the questions that we have asked. But I mean, are you fine with a guy getting 206 million rand security on his house while kids go without schools? I cannot comment at this stage. When I release the report, I will indicate what should have happened and that's what yes. happened that's and yes. whether the two... Yes. That's a yes. That's a yes. Say, say it's a yes. Look at the, the, look at the case. It's a yes. <laughs> no, I can't say but yes. But you just said yes! I don't prejudge cases. Oh, Esther. my I don't. gosh. Unless yes. it's an advertising agency. I must be careful not to express an opinion because if the matter comes to me, then w nobody will respect my decision because it would be said that I already had an answer long before I investigated. Yeah, if you did that, you would be called the newspapers. Listen, if someone built a wall around your house, would you ask what the hell they're doing or would you just be quiet? Really, Chester, you're trying to get me to prejudge a case. I love so. this lady. You see, this is why she's in charge. She's I a can't legal, do that. legal ninja. That's brilliant. I love that answer. I love that answer. Because it is kind of like, you know, not knowing what's going on outside your house is like Gwen McClangung Kabine not knowing about the cost of a wig. Okay, that's a bad example. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Do you ever regret taking this job? Now, it's a privilege to serve in this capacity. Yeah. I would do it again. It, it's a wonderful opportunity, especially when it comes to administrative wrongs against yeah. individuals. Yeah. But also even the question of helping government to look at the resource question and opportunities within the state. Yeah. It's a privilege to be able to help government to match what it says with what it does. I cannot <laughs> believe this. I, I'm leaving. Now, public protector, please, man. No, man. Goodbye to Lima Rosella. Go arrest someone. Go, go, go. I'm very excited. Goodbye, this. Chester. She's very dangerous. She smells like justice. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chester missing with the hard questions.